The environmental sciences are where CTEC's Environmental Visualization System, EVS, was born. This industry faces the daunting challenge of making reams of complex geologic and environmental information understandable to property owners, regulators, and the public. EVS was developed to meet that challenge. For nearly 15 years, EVS has offered the three-dimensional analysis and visualization tools to address the needs of this industry, and we are continually enhancing our products to keep them far ahead of any competitors. EVS and MVS allow you to combine soil and or groundwater contamination data, geologic observations, site survey data, aerial photos, maps and shape files, and three-dimensional models of buildings and structures. The following animation demonstrates that level of integration. A trichloroethylene contaminant plume at an industrial facility on the Washington coast depicts the geology of sand and rock layers plunging below the ocean. These layers are cut away to reveal the groundwater plume within. Eric Rogoff of LFR Levine Fricky developed this visualization, which shows slices through a solvent plume from a leaking sump at an airport. The upper region illustrates PCE soil vapor concentrations, and the lower region slice shows PCE groundwater concentrate.
This animation shows a truck driving to the site of benzene soil contamination at a military base. The aerial photo overlaid on the site topography, combined with the truck, provides an excellent sense of scale to the benzene plume. This animation of trichloroethylene groundwater contamination at the Vickers site in Missouri includes three-dimensional buildings and an aerial photo. The unsaturated and saturated zones are cut away to reveal TCE displayed with monitoring well screens colored by concentration and plumes at 15, 30, and 50 micrograms per liter. The data was provided courtesy of Patrick Quinn at the Missouri Department of Natural Resources Hazardous Waste Program.